Righto, tally ho there. Now, I always get asked this question all the time. How do you get that telemetry on the top left-hand corner that shows the GPU temperature, the GPU clock speed, the CPU clock speed, CPU usage, etc.? Now, this is when you're playing games. It's great for being able to see all that sort of data in real time, and it can help you troubleshoot you know why aren't you getting the frames per second that you think you're getting you have a look up there is the temperature high is the clock speed going down etc it's really handy to have so let's crack on and i'll show you how you do it okay it's really simple all you have to do is download msi afterburner so all you do is go to google type in msi afterburner go to the web page and then you just download it save it to wherever Locate that file you just downloaded. It'll be compressed. It'll be zipped, so you have to uncompress it. So you just extract it all. It'll create a folder with the MSI Afterburner in it. Then you just install it. Now, when you install MSI Afterburner, you will also get a companion app. It's called Reva Tuner, and that actually controls all the fonts and stuff like that. So it'll install both of those things. And once you install them, open up MSI Afterburner, and as you can see here, this is what you use to overclock your GPU as well. But we don't want to know about that. So once we have Afterburner open, we want to actually go into the settings. And this is where the magic happens. Go to the monitoring tab and you'll see that it has all these active hardware monitoring graphs. So what you do is you select the ones you want. And then you just check on show in on-screen display. OSD for sure. So as you can see there, I'm just going through the things I want. So I want fan speed, I want clock speed, I want temperatures. Going through here, I don't want all the CPUs, I just want the one CPU. So go to CPU temperature, go down. I don't want to know all the usage of every core, I just want to know the overall usage. So I go to CPU usage, and then I don't want to know the clock speed for every core, I just want to know the overall clock speed of the CPU. So I click on CPU clock speed, RAM, etc. All the stuff you want, just select. And most importantly, at the end, you want to click on the frame rate and you want to check it. So you have to click the tick and then select showing on screen display. Now, if you've got multiple GPUs, like a lot of laptops, I'll have the Intel HD graphics and I'll have um, a discrete graphics card. Well, you've got to make sure you select the right frame rate. You just mess around, you'll get it. It usually is the first one. So then we go into Reva Tuner, and this is how we set up the fonts here. So here you can move the telemetry where you want, left, right, whatever, and you can change the size of it. I just boost the size of it a little bit. I'm using a 1080p display. If you're using a 4K, you want to make it really big. Then you can put in a custom color. I put my own custom color in. Just go through there, enter my custom color. And then I change the font. So I go to Raster 3D and I change the font to Sagu because I like the Sagu fonts like Helvetica, if you don't know. And you can select whatever font you want. You can select the size, whatever. I just leave it the default and just use the zoom in. Then you're done. And then you just close it all up and you have to have Afterburner running. So when you want to run a game, you open Afterburner, you want to restart it after you've made those settings. And then you just run the game and boom, it's going to show up in the top left hand corner all the telemetry that you selected to be monitored. And it's as simple as that. So as you can see here, I have all the telemetry I've selected. And you'll see it's got a zero on the top line there. And that's the fan. As you'll see, once it cranks up to a certain temperature, that fan will kick in. It says zero now, 156. Yep, there you go. Boom. The fan's kicking in now once it gets to 56 degrees. And, yeah, you can see all the other telemetry I selected and select whatever you want. It's got, like, um, average low frame rates and all that sort of stuff, like one percenters and all that crap. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, tally ho.